Hello guys, just wanted to show you quickly how um, you can apply a set of instructions or a macro in Wim that is a text editor. Um, quite often we're faced with the with the task uh, like like say this one where you've got a bunch of data or bunch of it could be code from other system or I don't know other language maybe and you need to transform that data into that source text into something different um, say a C sharp class and in here you can see how I've got a C sharp class that is pretty much just a container class that has a set of attributes in it uh, key value various codes and IDs and um, this data it comes from a database and here I just have a dump from query analyzer so I basically need to take all that data take each line from this data set and transform that line into a class like that and you could probably write a regex you can probably try to write a regex to do that but in Wim it lets you to record a sequence of actions consisting of movement commands and modification commands that will transform that data set line by line uh, in a controlled fashion into whatever you actually want provided that you can specify these commands so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go into technical details it's more of a show-and-tell sort of presentation I just want to show you how magically you can tr transform that into something else and um, so I'll just quickly quickly record a macro in here while you watch this and then apply this macro over this data set so I'm just starting with um, at the beginning of the line and I'm starting a macro recording you see how it says recording in the low in the left bottom corner and um, so yeah I'm just gonna start writing my class that is I'm pretty much copying what's above just uh, using that as a as an example for myself It's, I suppose, not overly exciting, but you'll see how um, we can run in the end and get something awesome. I uh, probably made a couple of typos in there, but this is, I suppose, not overly material. I'll just try to fix that. And I'm just going as normally as you would type your code. The key thing is that I'm navigating from my navigation is based on the as you can see the tabs are highlighted in yellow so I'm jumping from one tab to another that is essentially the core of um, placing the proper text in proper places
and we almost there Now, getting close to, to the end of the macro recording. Okay, so now we've done with the macro recording. I stopped the macro recording. You can see that it's no longer displaying recording in the left um, bottom corner. Now what I'm going to do is just to apply that macro to the line that my um, cursor is currently on. So I'm just going to basically replay that macro and see how I'm just going to undo it. See how we've got this line AU, BTR, BTR, AU, AU, 20, null, rec. And that's just going to be transformed into this class that it's going to be called content AUBTR with all of the fields properly populated. So I'm applying my macro and there we go. There is a content AUBTR class and it's got all of the um, actually it's not properly formatted at the moment, which is not a problem. You can format that in the uh, Visual Studio quite easily or if you um, attentive enough, you can just properly record your macro um, and it's almost compilable you can um, oh actually I think I've just run the previous version of my macro uh, give me a sec I'll just run the new one that I've recorded for you okay that yeah that's better so see how I've got a different slightly different fields in here um, yeah so basically having now to the exciting part of it you've got all this data set now you can say play this macro over the over these lines 10 times so i'm going 10 play macro and it just burned through that transforming each and every line and you can basically apply that as many times as you like which i'm gonna do now and i'm transforming this data set like crazy doing it again and we almost have no lines left. What? Just four lines played four more times and we're done. So there we go. We just had a data and we transformed that data into code. It's still probably not completely pretty looking with all these white space. But as I said, you can easily um, fix that in Visual Studio running just automatic formatting. Um, it just hopefully that just maybe convinced you to have a look at Vim, that is one of the most awesome text editors in the world of all times. Um, so, yeah, if that is of enough interest, I can go into details and actually explain how. Um, the macro recording works and how you use those movement commands and those change commands um, which is really just like jumping from one word to another or jumping from the beginning of the line to the end of the line or jumping to the next um, occurrence of uh, of a symbol or a string or a substring that you're searching for it's it's really it's all really quite simple um, so if you were ever afraid of using Vim because you had to do that in the command line of some archaic Unix or Linux system and you couldn't exit the bloody thing, don't be afraid. Um, it's actually quite powerful. I wish I had that working nicely in my Visual Studio alongside with ReSharper, but unfortunately there's quite a few um, conflicts in key bindings, so, I only, so I'm really using that as an external tool. Um, that's it. Thanks very much for your attention.